It's the final day of pool play here at the 2024 Junior League Softball World Series just off the banks of beautiful Lake Washington. Another gorgeous day for softball here at Everest Park. It'll be the Philippines versus unbeaten Pennsylvania, the East Region champs, trying to complete pool play with a 4-0 and record. Here, coaches and teammates, also team's pick is most likely to survive right. a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> this is outside for ball four. Degolacion is on base. Vanilla from the Philippines. 1-1, one, one, bunted left side, well placed. It's gonna be picked up and short by Cass. Not enough time to get the throw to first. Everybody's safe, throw back to third base. Sliding in safely is Degolacion, and a really good backup from Madison Twincheck. Lumardo is next, she grounds it over to short. Pick up, throw to first is in time, and now they got the runners hung up. Running over is Brewer, throws to the plate. Boyer picks it up. And getting back to the back. No, did they tag her? I think they're calling interference on the Pennsylvania defense. So coming in to score is Degolacion. It's their first run of the game and the tournament. And the Philippines leads 1-0. Right there, that obstruction play with Hauser in the base pass, in the pathway of Degolacion, basically. Not sure if there's an error that goes on there or not, but we'll figure it out. Pass ball and over to third base goes Daniela Nunez. Degolacion, first run of the tournament for Manila. Pitch swung on and missed, strike three. Down by way of the K for the, for the quarterfinals. Pitch is swung on and missed, strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts and the top of the first inning. First pitch, swung on and belted to first. Nice grab by Daniela Nunez. One pitch, one out here in the bottom of the first inning. Well struck by Martin, but cat-like reflexes. From 3-2 delivery. Hit in the air, right center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Swings and grounds it through the whole left side for a base knock. And there's two on with one gone in the bottom of the first. Hope her own cause here. She has been... One of the top bats in the tournament. Five for eight this week. First pitch skips in and advancing on the play or Blystone and Cass. It'll be a wild pitch. Your League Softball World Series banner at the end of this week. Bouncer over to third. Great stop by Lamar to throw to first is in time. She looked the runners back as well. Can't do it any better. Lamar to. Where the catcher has homered once. This week, ground ball over to third, juggled by Lomarda. She's got it, and the throw is in time to retire the side. The corners are nope. The embassy for a few days, and long story short, their passports were delayed. Swing attempt and a miss. Ball gets away, heading over to first safely on a swing and miss, but a drop strike three. And she is going to be called out for being out of the box. Girls and their coaches would be able to board and make their flight and start their journey here to the U.S. But then on top of that, so we see a strikeout here by Mahaffey. The made more difficult when you miss your original flight, but they made it happen. 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed. Riley Mahaffey has struck out the side five Ks in a row. Ducks on the pond right now as she leads off the bottom of the second. First pitch swinging. Rounds it over to short. Dominguez up with the throw and not in time. It's a tough spot there. That many bounces. 
to try and get someone who runs as well as Twin Check does. And she takes a cold strike three. Borico records her first K of the day. It's her eighth strikeout of the week. Rallied back from a loss in the state tournament. Runner taking off a delayed steal, but sliding in safely with the stolen base is Madison Twincheck. Get on the ground over to second. Degolacion to first. And makes the play. Ball slips out, but it fortuitously went in the general direction of the catcher, and so no harm, no foul. Hauser waits, Borico with the pitch. Okay, Shot back to the circle, fielded by the pitcher. She'll make the play. And once again, the Philippines works their way around a scenario where you see a lot of familiar faces season after season, and for good reason as the first pitch is flared into center field. That's a base hit. And Yellow went Salida leads off the third with a single for the Philippines, already up 1-0. Got Tan over on the third base side. Drag bunt back to the circle and the pick and flip for out number one. Happy fielding her spot. Old Beans team, all the adversity they faced just getting here, seemingly finding their rhythm with each game. One, two, swung on and missed. Strike three, Mahaffey. Two, two pitch. That's high. And the umpire says ball four, but that's three and two. No harm, no foul. Back to the box. Payoff pitch. And that's a called strike three. That will end the inning. Start the bottom of the third off right, getting aboard. First pitch, he swings, grounds it to the left side, cut off at third by Lamarda. And the throw is in time for out number one. Corners here against the Philippines. Nothing to trifle with. Arizona opened their tournament with eight runs against Texas. 3-2. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Down by way of the K. Borico in the circle is retired five in a row. Two by strikeout. Her 0-2 delivery, swung on and missed, strike three. That's six in a row, set down by Borico. She is rolling. 2-2 pitch, swung on and missed, strike three. That's now eight Ks. Making the calls. So thanks to them for being a part of the Junior League Softball World Series. 1-2 pitch, spins in for a strike. And Michaela Degolacion will be the batter. First pitch swinging over to short, glove by Cass, and that will retire the side. Defense hasn't been needed much, but it's up to the task. If those are related. The 0-2, swung on and miss, strike three. Three straight Ks now recorded by Edrilyn Borico in the circle. Seven in a row. The six-nothing lead right now in the fifth inning. Troy Clardy's got the call on that field. Blystone takes a look at strike three. That's four straight Ks now for Borico. Oh, one pitch. Hit over to the right side. Glove by Nunez. Three up, three down once again. Nine in a row, retired by Edrilyn Borico and the Philippines who lead one nothing. Finding a rhythm and can understand with the travel difficulties they had, maybe some jet lag involved. Rounder to third, Hauser picks it up, but it's too late, safe at first. Dominguez, it'll be an air. Complete the play, so Dominguez is aboard. And she takes off for second. Throw to the bag is not in time. She's able to keep her foot down. Stays planted, very nicely done. Bouncer over to third. Play is made at first base, advancing on the throw is Dominguez. So 
Marta. Soft grounder up the first baseline. That'll get the run in. Mahaffey makes the play, her only option at first base. An RBI ground out for Nunez and a 2-0 lead for the Philippines. Liner up the middle for a base hit. In the circle on the other side with five strikeouts, only allowing three hits. Ball bounces in. Be a wild pitch over to second base. Goes Kaabai. Insurance available for the Philippines if they can come up with a hit. Popped up over the head of the third baseman and into left field. Sophia Thomas was right there to make the stop and keep an eye on the lead runner, but advancing to second. She bunts at it and misses. That's strike three. Tenth K of the day for Riley Mahaffey. With the pitch. Bounced over to second. And it hiccups out of the glove of Degolacion. Safe at first is Mahaffey. Hits it to third. Glove by Lamarta goes to second. Nice stretch and they make the play. Degolacion covering some fancy footwork to get the toe down today and air almost air free. A one, two, swung on and missed, strike three. Six K. Runner goes. Pitch is in there for a strike and sliding in safely with a stolen base is Sophia Boyer. Twin check in there running and she takes off for third throw to the bag. Oh, she eludes the tag. Throw beat her, but sliding to the back half of the bag. That is close. Philippines is going to challenge this. She is safe. Multi-sport athlete looking for a two out, two strike hit here in the late innings. The one, two, called strike three, and that will end the inning. Edrilyn Borico. Rounder over to short. Cass with the throw and not in time. Ball squirts up the right field line and into second. Sliding in safely is Dishon. Comebacker gloved by Mahaffey. She throws to second to turn two. Maybe some game-changing momentum sliding over to Pennsylvania. Ground ball to third. Hauser will make the play. And we'll see if the tide has turned momentum-wise with this play. For Four for seven this week, including a home run. Line drive, base hit up the middle. And Hauser is going to come up with the opportunity. Hauser swings and hits it over to second. They're going to go to second base to get the out. Helps to have a left-handed thrower at second base in that scenario. A lot of times in baseball, you'll see almost dangerous potential tying run if she can get on the base pass. Facing an 0-2 count, the pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. Down by way of the K. Two and zero. Oh. Liner into center, and it's over the head of the center fielder, and all the way to the wall. Hauser around third. She will score. 
It's the fourth double of the week for Rachel Livermore, and the tying run is in scoring position. Everything off for bat is extra bases. And the East has climbed closer here. Tying this game. Need one more hit. 2-2 Two -two offering. Called strike three on the outside edge. Clutch plays from both sides all the way around. That maybe have 10 or 11 players. Two strikes, swing and miss. Down by way of the K goes the leadoff hitter. The momentum changer, though Pennsylvania still trails right now. Elijah Fajardo, the batter, bunts at it, and caught on the slide by the third baseman, Hauser. Round ball over to third. Martin makes it again. Pennsylvania's defense on point here in the Martin lifts it to right center field, moving over and can't make the catch in right. It drops in and it's going to be extra bases. Martin's flying for third. She's in safely with a leadoff triple. A lot of them near the top of the order, but has a look at an RBI right here. 0 1 pitch. Grounder up the middle, glove by the pitcher, Borico throws to first for the out. They're coming home, and the throw is not going to be in time. We are tied at two. And she is in, and we are all even at two apiece. I don't think even with a perfect throw on the plate, they are getting Martin. Three balls, two strikes. Lifted to right field. Abai under it. She'll make the grab. For out number two. Two apiece. 0-1. Ground ball over to third. The one hopper fielded by Lamarta, and she'll make the play. And we're going to have some bonus softball here on the final day of pool play. Seven innings, not enough. We'll go to the eighth. Understand and maybe taking a day to get their rhythm, but they seem to be in it now. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's the 12th K of the day for Riley Mahaffey. Yeah. Liner over to third, and spearing another is Martin. She is making all the plays at the hot corner. But Sam Martin eventually coming across last inning to tie our score at two. Bunch over the pitcher, diving stop by Mahaffey. Who's going to get the defensive play of the day? Anything you can do, I can do better. Lineup, Pennsylvania's averaged more than nine runs per game, but they have been held in check by the right-hander. Swing and a miss, strike three, make it a 10K day for Borico. Day when we crown a champion. 3-1 pitch. Ball four. That is a dangerous, could she provide the game winner? First pitch. Shows bunt, pulls back. They snap throw back to first and heading over to second. Stumbling into the tag is Twin Check and they get her. Twin Check was expecting a throw and kind of pre-anticipated a Foul tipped. And that is strike three. Jimmy Lumarda is the batter. First pitch skips in. It's a wild pitch. Puts a runner at third. Get in front of the plate. Picked up, and a fake throw there by Mahaffey. She wanted to see if she could catch Dominguez coming home. She did not. It'll be an infield single. And runners now on the corners. Nobody out.
suspense is killing me. Foul ball, okay. So, everyone back to their stations. She shows bunt early, then pulls it back, and then follows through. That, that's a swing to me. Oh, they're saying she's out. I don't know if the Philippines would want to challenge this one now. Win it. Not have something kind of fluky lose it. Here's a pop up back of second. It squirms away, heading for home. And in to score is Dominguez. It's an infield single, and the Philippines is back on top. Two lead. It was a well placed little pop up in that Bermuda Triangle. Now, the Philippines. Round ball over to first. Tough hop hanging with it and making the play after all is Claire Brewer. Oh boy, that one jackrabbited all the way up to her shoulder. And now, she gonna apply the tag there? Yes, to double play. <laughs> Philippines is saying they called for time, but no one granted it apparently. They're saying she's out. <laughs> Brewers catching the player off the bag. 3-2 Philippines, bottom ninth coming up. At second base, that's the tying run in Claire Brewer. And the first pitch pops out of the glove of Fuen Salida. And over to third base goes Brewer on the pass ball. So just like the top of the ninth. Payoff pitch. Bouncer up the middle, and that'll get through. It's an RBI single, and we're all tied up again. hit of the day, second RBI of the week. And once again, a new ball game, three apiece in the bottom of the ninth, and the winning run is at first. In the pool, but we would lock it up for certain if they come through here. Ground ball, base hit left side. Hauser with the single. And with no one out in the bottom of the ninth inning, there are runners at first and second. One zero pitch. Bunted in front of the plate, picked up, and no play to be made. It's a single. Gracie Reed loads him up. With a big 0-2 pitch. Lifted, left field, might be deep enough. Bowanin makes the catch, tagging from third is Anderson, and she will score. Pennsylvania wins it in extras, four to three. What a game. Pennsylvania wins it. 4-3, the final score. The hero, Rachel Livermore, her second run batted in of the day, and giving Pennsylvania a perfect 4-0 run through pool play, and they will have one of the top spots entering the knockout rounds tomorrow. Winning pitcher Riley Mahaffey, 2-0. She struck out 13. Tough loss for the Philippines. They played great. They'll have one more game coming up later on today. For everyone here, I'm Sam Farber saying it's been a pleasure and a privilege having you along. Congrats to Pennsylvania, the winners of their pool at the Junior League Softball World Series.